two cells, two volt, four volt internal one, two are connected in parallel so as to send current in the same direction through an external 20 ohm. Beautiful. So cells in parallel and then potential difference. Simple circuit. Two cells are in parallel such that they send current in the same direction means it should be like this. And these two are connected across an external of 20 ohm. This is 20 ohm R. 2 volt 1 ohm. 4 volt 2 ohm. Let this be E1 R1. E1 R1. And this is E2 R2. Fine. We have to find potential difference. For potential difference, we need current. Of course, this can be solved in two, three methods. Let us solve in one method. Okay. Now, these two internal resistances are in parallel. So, R equal to R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. R1 plus R2. R1 is 1. R2 is 2. 1 into 2 by 1 plus 2 equal to 2 by 3. So, internal is 2 by 3. Now, EMF. E equivalent by R equivalent equal to E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2. What is E1? 2. 2 by 2 by 1. 2 by 1 plus 4 by 2. 4 by 2. This is E equivalent by R equivalent. R equivalent is 2 by 3. 2 plus 2, 4. So, it is 4 times. This goes to this side. 2 by 3. E equivalent. So, it is 8 by 3 ohm. Sorry. Volt. Now, let us find current. Current to the external circuit. So, current equal to EMF by R plus R. So, in this case, EMF is the effective. E equivalent. This is R equivalent. Hope you understood the problem. Now, equals E equivalent is 8 by 3. 8 by 3. External is 20 plus internal is internal is 2 by 3. 8 by 3, 20, 20, 60, 62. You can use calculator and get the value. Okay, don't worry. 62 by 3, 3, 3 gone, 4 by 31. This is current I. 4 by 31 ampere. Now potential difference across this. Current through the circuit. Current through this is I. And that I is 4 by 31. Therefore potential difference. Potential difference across 20 ohm is V equal to I into R. I is 4 by 31 into R is 20. So, it is 80 by 31 V. 80 by 31. Two point five eight volt. Cells in parallel, after that one more step, potential difference. Two cells of EMF, 2 volt, 3 volt of internal 1 and 2 respectively are connected in parallel. 
so as to send current in the same direction through an external tenor. Find the power dissipated across tenor. So its power. Previous problem was on potential difference. Now this is the circuit. First cell, second cell. They are connected such that they send current in the same direction. Carefully collect the data. 2 volt, 1 ohm. E1, R1 is 2 volt, 1 ohm. Next, 3 volt, 2 ohm. E2, R2, 2 volt, sorry, 3 volt, 2 ohm. External is 10. This external is R. Fine. Done. Now, since cells are in parallel, let us find R equivalent first. R equivalent equal to R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. 1, 2. 1 into 2 by 1 plus 2 equal to 2 by 3 ohm. 2 by 3. Now EMF. E equivalent by R equivalent equal to E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2. E1, E1 is 2. 2 by R1. R1 is 1, 2 by 1, plus this by this, 3 by 2, 3 by 2. This is E equivalent by R equivalent is found out, 2 by 3. 4, 7 by 2. So this is 7 by 2 into 2 by 3 is E equivalent. 2 to gone, it is 7 by 3 volt. EMF is volt. Let us find current, current through the circuit. That current is this current, I. Okay. Current I equal to EMF by R plus R. And in this case, there are two cells. So, equivalent, 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 equal to equivalent EMF is 7 by 3. External is 10 plus internal is 2 by 3. Thirty two, thirty two by 3. This is 7 by 3. 3, 3 gone. So, it is 7 by 32 ampere. This is current. Now, we want power dissipation. Current, current and resistance. Current and resistance means I square R is the power dissipation. Therefore, power dissipation is I square into R. There are three equations, isn't it? I square R, V square by R, current into voltage. So, all these three equations are for power. We have current, we have resistance, therefore, I square R is the appropriate equation. I square R. I square is 7 by 32 square into R is 10. Students, use calculator, simplify this. 0.47 ampere. You also calculate. Don't simply copy all this. Okay. One more type. 
based on i equal to n a b d e drift velocity the number density of free electrons in copper conductor is estimated to be this per meter cube number density small letter n number of conduction electrons per unit volume so in your syllabus if you find number like that there are only two types so this is one type so number density is 8.5 10 to the power of 28 meter cube per meter cube you have to take care of this if they give this in centimeter cube convert so they should be in meter cube so 10 to the power of 28 how long does an electron take to drift from one end of the one end of a copper wire three meter long of thickness fine thickness of copper wire is given so n is there in this equation i equal to n a v d e so let us write the equation i equal to n a v d e okay write neatly now n is given a is area of cross section this is a copper wire with 0.6 meter thickness thickness means diameter understand diameter is not mentioned but thickness means diameter diameter is 1.6 millimeter therefore radius equal to 1.6 by 2 0 0.8 millimeter therefore area of cross section is area equal to pi r square pi 3.14 3.14 into radius 0 0.8 10 to the power of minus 3 square equal to area turns out to be 2.01 10 to the power of minus 6 meter square students will forget this milli okay please don't forget 10 to the power of minus 6 so area is found out so we know n we know a we know charge of electron and current is given find out vd drift velocity therefore drift velocity equal to i by n a e n a e drift velocity equal to current is 2 ampere number density is 8.5 10 to the power of 28 area is 2.01 10 to the power of minus 6 e is charge of electron 1.6 10 to the power of minus 90 use calculator here i would like to tell you this 2 type 2 then divided by 8.5 divided by 8.5 then press equals don't forget plus equals then again divided by 2.01 press equals then divided by 1.6 equals that gives final answer okay because the way you type depends on the or the way calculator gives answer depends on the software in the calculator so most of the students will do this mistake they will do 2 divided by 8.5 into you will be thinking it is 8.5 into 2 point but calculator will be taking this 2.01 in the numerator so better practice so when you simplify this it turns out to be 7.5 35 10 to the power of minus 5 meter per second so this is drift velocity but drift velocity is length by time or time equal to length by drift velocity length of the conductor is 3 meter 3 meter by 7.35 10 to the power of 
minus 5. Simplify 3 by 7.35, 4.08, 10 to the power of 4 second. This is time. So, just to travel a distance of 3 meter, an electron takes hours together. One hour is 3.6, 3.6, 10 to the power of 3 seconds, 3600 seconds. This is much more than this, even more than 10 times. Just a distance of 3 meter according to the given data. So, this type of problem has has appeared in the final exam. So, take care of this type also. Students, don't forget to check the description box for CET and NEET. Questions are from previous year, PYQ, previous year question papers with synapses, shortcuts, explanation. Prepare well for your CET and NEET.